You've probably heard the phrase, it's Greek to me, but you might not know this expression along with countless others that's inspired by William Shakespeare. If you have the chance to hear some of literature's most celebrated lines on stage in Kelloland for free, it's starting now. Dakota Driver and Debbie Jones are actors with the theater company Bare Bones Bo uh, Bear Bodkins. <laughs> Bear Bodkins. Bare Bones is another thing. Bear, Bear Bodkins has been doing this, did you say 20? 22 years. Oh, yeah, 22 mm -hmm. years. And Debbie, and how long have you been doing this? Um, I did another show with them maybe six years ago, and mm -hmm. this is my second show. Dakota? Yeah, I did a show with about three years ago. It was my first show, and then before that, I did fight choreography for a show. But. When you first were exposed to Shakespeare, middle school, high school, you went, I love this. Or you went, oh, no, not this. <laughs> now, you actually lit up. Debbie, you liked it right out of the gate. I loved it, I, but I wanted to be very cool and artsy, so mm -hmm. I... I chose to like it, mm -hmm. kind of like coffee. I wanted to be cool and artsy. Right. I don't remember if I Nothing actually liked it. Nothing says cool and artsy <laughs> like I've memorized some of the sonnets. So right. Yeah. Okay. As and you're sipping your coffee. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Dakota, how about you? I did. Yeah, I did like it. I had a little bit uh, of a different exposure. My dad came from Sri Lanka when he was a kid, and they, when they learned English, they learned the old English. So no. my dad. Wow. Yeah, he exposed okay. me to that a little bit earlier. So I had. A little more of a knowledge base to be prepared in middle school and high school. I, I love words. I love slang terms. And I, when you think about all of the words that Shakespeare just made up mm -hmm. on the spot that we still use today, it's really kind of interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Merriam-Webster before uh, Merriam-Webster. Right. Yeah, I think like you know, like I, I was talking a frenemy. <laughs> frenemy is a great word. It explains friend that's an enemy. Right. Shakespeare, all kinds of like it's Greek to me. All these various things that people you watched back in the day you said, huh, love the term. Why don't we just start using it forever? And we still <laughs> speak the language. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it so, was a huge impact. And for him to have that like gravitas to be like, oh, I'm just going to say a word and, and just thousands of people were like, yeah, all right, yes. I'll, say it, I'll say it now too. Super, a, a true genius. Mm -hmm. So when people go, they will see one of his first works and this is, uh, it's comedy, right? So explain, yes. explain comedy to Shakespeare, to people who are going, what, what are we going to see here? Slapstick. Yes. Yeah. So there's a lot of it. And I think what's great about this show is there's so much physical humor and the characters are so over the top and larger than mm -hmm. life. That it's you, If you aren't familiar with Shakespeare's words, you don't have to worry too much. You're going to miss like a clever right. joke. There's enough for you to laugh at without right. needing to like understand every phrase. Are the costumes going to be of the period or what are you going to do with that? Um, they're contemporary costumes, but they'll represent uh, the differences in all of the characters, which will help. And like the classic Shakespeare comedy, it's got missed identities, which is always fun and mixed up. Uh, yeah, and what's, who, okay, yeah. let's just talk about that. What is the show? What's the, what's the play he's going to do, or you're going to do? Sure. It's about um, two sets of identical twins who okay. both get separated at birth. So the two sets are separated. Okay. And one is trying to find the other and seek them out in another country. Um, and he comes into the city that the other set of twins happen to live in, and then they all and sorts of... And then I can see the farce. Yes. All of the errors yeah. have been yep. and, and mm -hmm. so... If it's identical twins, is one person playing both characters? How does that work? No, we have uh, different people. Yep. Yeah. So we have two sets of twins, so four individual characters and four individual <laughs> actors playing them as well. Um, and the way that we sort of tried to make them I identical is through the costumes and the mannerisms. So each set of twins during rehearsal, we'd work to say, okay, how does one of them run? It's, you know, we do kind of a goofy run. And so you try to match that and gestures. Are they more loose? Are they more specific? And right. And broad <clears throat> accents, you were saying. There'll be a German accent and yes. there'll be a Cockney accent. Yeah. You're just going to have fun with the whole thing, yes, right? Absolutely. Right. Yes. Absolutely. Ha. So um, when, when you perform this, Bear Bodkins, the idea is it's going to be like it was truly when Shakespeare maybe performed it for the first yes. time. Talk to me about that. Yeah, it's a, an original <clears throat> practice theater company. So we're out in the outdoors, the great Queen Bee Mill, um, mimicking the Globe Theater from, you know, back in the day and minimal costumes, minimal actors. Um, and really trying to stay true to Shakespeare's words. No, and how no microphones. Correct. No lights. Correct. Minimal costuming. Yep. Just what, would you, how many actors? Six. 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 Having how many roles do you have? Um, I think we each play four roles. Yikes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's a huh. good time. And, and, and what's your favorite of your four? Oh, I play this really um, kind of sleazy merchant, <laughs> Goldsmith. 
um, who has a Jersey accent, and it's lots of That's fun. That's fantastic. Thank you. So, so, <laughs> I mean, we, we've got to get to the details. I'm, I could talk to you all day, but we've got to get people to the show. Yes. It starts tonight, so there's nothing like planning ahead. Let's just go tonight and have some fun. Absolutely. 7 o'clock at the Queen Bee Mill at Falls Park. The tickets are... Wait a minute, is that a typo? Nope. They're free. They are. <laughs> what in the heck? So how many people do you think might, well, well, forget, if the tickets are free, everybody, everybody should go. Everybody should. If you can't make it tonight, not a problem, because it continues till when? Till Sunday night, the 14th. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. So I can get the world's greatest linguist, the greatest playwright, done by the finest actors in the region. Yes, indeed. <laughs> for nothing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Man, am I glad you're here today. And we're wow. glad to be here. Wow. So, hey, hey, thanks very much, Debbie, Dakota. I will, I'm going to see you tonight.